Are you ready for a journey? A journey back inside. We will visit our character Akua and her journey. Our story takes place in the Indus River Valley civilization. This was an ancient civilization. We follow our character in her city of Harappa. This city was one of the said to be twin cities of this civilization. She lived in this city, and this city had many buildings, some made of mud clay, and others buildings were made out of stone. This civilization was thriving at many points due to the river. And Akua, she loved her city, Harappa. She loved the granaries, the houses, the farms. She loved where she lived. She also loved the people. But Akua, she was a potter. She made pots for a living. It's just what she did. That was her job. A job that she enjoyed for the most part. But she had always felt like there was something more. Her small house, it didn't mean anything to her. It only meant that she wasn't very high up in the social class. She really wanted to be a priestess, an ultimate priestess, and know everything about what she believed in. She was going to be the master priestess. She would worship the bulls and cows. She would worship the man with the horns rather than just the man without the horns. It was her dream to become something great. She was in love with the idea that she could be a great priestess. She would pray and everything like that. Everything. One day, Akua decided that she was for sure going to become a priestess. So she went to her local church and talked to the local priest about becoming a priestess. She said that she wanted to worship the man with the horns, pointing to the plaque on the building. But the man, he said no. He was in denial over this whole thing. He didn't want her. She was just a potter. He couldn't have a potter become a priestess. So he said no again. Despite her endeavors, she was denied, and she was devastated. But she went home, and life went on. But right before she could get inside, a man, Mr. Kaling, he saw her, and he was like, Bow chicka wow. <laughs> he loved her. It was love at first sight. They decided that they would start to live together. And after a while, they were deeply in love, and prayed that the fertility goddess would watch over them in their sleep. They prayed and they prayed. Even though Aku could not become a priestess, she believed that the fertility goddess would help her become pregnant. And that's exactly what happened. Akua became pregnant. 
despite her inability to become